Hey Nerdinas! Today I'm back with another video. This is the first video in a series of videos that will be showing you how to solder your own board with four experiments and a microcontroller. So this video is a preview of what the completed board will look like and also shows a demo of all four experiments and I will be posting videos very soon with tutorials on how to build each of the experiments. This circuit board has four experiments and each experiment has a program. This microcontroller right here executes those programs and the programs are all written on my computer and this device which you can see in my hand is called a picket and it is responsible for sending the program to the microcontroller. To begin with I am going to plug the picket which is the programmer into my circuit and start showing you what experiments can be done. The first program involves these three LEDs and this right here is for a 3-bit LED counter so these LEDs count from 0 to 7. The next experiment is a motor, so when I press the switch right here, the motor will spin and otherwise it will not. So I have just run the program. So you can probably hear the motor spinning right now. And now I've switched it off. The next experiment when you press this switch will print an output to the computer. In order to do that I've connected this wire right here to this 9 pin connector on the board. The switch is not pressed, the word SAD is printed. However, when the switch is pressed, the word HAPPY is printed in the terminal. The last experiment this is what is called a potentiometer and here there is a small kind of knob on the potentiometer. This is called a shaft. By turning the shaft of the potentiometer you can change the amount of resistance that it is providing and this changes the voltage. So as I turn the potentiometer shaft the number being printed on the computer screen keeps changing to indicate the change in voltage. That is a preview of all four experiments that the completed board will have. The first experiment is a 3-bit LED counter. The second experiment involves a motor that spins when a switch is pressed. The third experiment prints an output to a computer when a switch is pressed. And the fourth experiment reads potentiometer voltages. Stay tuned for our next videos that will be showing you how to make this board. From each Nerdina to all Nerdinas, adios. I'm <laughs> sorry.